Hi my beautiful friends, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lindsay and I love to make shopping videos. I'm gonna show you the Bullseye Playground today and ideas for boo baskets, football season, and all the above for Halloween. So let's get started. There's some Halloween items I didn't see last time that I'm going to show you this time. I love this little skull candelera it's really cute um it doesn't come with the batteries but you can add your own batteries and i think like having a couple of them like on a long table would be really cool this is a bat cage you could really like experiment with this and add moss hanging out of it um and just other little decor items and figurines that would be cute there's an orange lantern here and then later in the video you will see a black one as well this would look cute hanging on hooks like leading up to your door on halloween with like candles in it these are perfect little buckets for boo basket they have more than just this kind so stay tuned i'm going to show you different ones as i find them but if you are doing boo baskets this year um go for it for those of you that aren't familiar this is new it wasn't around when i was a kid but people basically leave it on your doorstep and you boo somebody um, you can get very clever with it from what i understand but there's just like different ideas and little knickknacks that you can put in these buckets to boo somebody I'm also going to show you the candles. There are different um, styles and decor on the outside of each of the buckets. And then of course, inside you'll see there's different scents. Here are a few wall hangings that I didn't see last time I filmed. So I just wanted to make sure I touched upon it here. Um, I love it because you can do it for indoor, outdoor. If you want to hang it on your door outside or by your door, you could do that. And then you could also hang it on your wall. Here is a little crow, and I think that's like mostly it for Halloween. Here's some of the moss I was talking about that you could add to the bat cage, and they also had white spider web as well, which can be hard to find towards the end of the season. So if you can't find it and need to pick some up, they do have it here in the dollar spot. Okay, now we're going to talk about some Boo Basket ideas. They have these fun kits that are coloring kits with stickers and they're Halloween related. Usually you see like Disney throughout the year, but for Halloween specifically, they have additional items. They have a plush bat skeleton and then I think a little monster. So you could definitely add this if you're having a bigger boo basket. This would also be perfect for a younger child who couldn't do like activity sets and stuff. So that's just something to keep in mind. They usually have like plush keychains, but I didn't see any out this year. It's a cat, that like a cat monster. Um, they also have these blankets that you can use for traveling. There was a pink and a blue one, and you can see it folds up nicely, and then you can just stick it in your carry-on when you're finished. This is a little jar, um, like a container that you can place on your counter. I would definitely put my Nespresso pods in it. Uh, you can also add candy if you'd like or flour. You can get creative. I love this My Snacks container. Definitely not Halloween related, but I think for kids it's perfect, especially if they're picky because there's so many compartments. You can just put like samples of different snacks in there. Or if you have like many children you're trying to feed at once, it works also. Here are these glow necklaces that would be perfect for the boo basket as well. Or if you're super generous around Halloween, you can definitely hand them out to the trick or treaters. They have these little connect blocks throughout the year, but as you can see, they did one for Halloween. So another great idea for your baskets. And then these are more like for kindergarteners. They have like different leaves and just like a more educational activity. Here's a puzzle that's like a harvest puzzle more towards like fall so you're definitely if you take a look in the kids section in the bullseye playground you will see more stuff geared towards children and halloween that you can give out i love these little wind up toys you usually see them at easter time but they have them for halloween as well and i think there's just like a bunch of good options and kids love these things you can definitely pick up one of each there's this glow up jack-o-lantern necklace that i love I see kids wear these when they're trick-or-treating so that people can find them. There was only one ghost left, so the ghost necklace must be pretty popular, so make sure you pick it up if you find it. And here is different types of silly string. They have white, green, and then orange. If you know the person you're booing is extra nice and you think they'll let you spray their lawn, you could do that also. And then here is just some bath toys. You can see they have a bunch of different colors and styles. This duck has a jack-o'-lantern on it. This one's purple. 
So for you can see there's like a, vi a wide variety for different age groups. And I showed these last time, but now the cups are like fully in stock. They were sold out at one point, but now they restock them. Here is a bunch of football stuff. This is a football necklace. Can somebody please tell me why this is opened in the top of the necklace? I am trying to figure it out. I'm sure there's a reason, but I can't think of it. Here is a headband for game day, <clears throat> especially if you go tailgating or if you just have people over to watch football games. I think it's great just to like have on hand, especially if you're a big football fan. Here's a little snack and um, cup holder. They have two different kinds, this one, and then the blue one says it's game time. You can take these tailgating as well, or you can use them at home. Here are window clings. They have these every year. They mix them up. I personally like the black and white one. You'll see it right here. I just, I don't know. I like it because it's different. So I'm going to pick that one up for my children. And then here is a wine rack. I, <laughs> a wine rack. I don't remember seeing these in previous seasons um, but I like it because they can be pricey depending where you purchase them from and then here are the black lanterns I was speaking of earlier in the video these are decorative trays let me know down in the comments below would you hang these on the wall just like a couple different ones like the white and green make a pattern out of it or would you use it for something else because like it's kind of you know flimsy so to put something heavy in it would not be possible maybe decorative balls let me know what ideas you may have i came across these mason jars you can get clever with them you can put applesauce in them jam um, a drink of your choice if you know what i'm saying so this time of year people get uh, fancy in the kitchen and it's just something cons to consider when picking up the skull mason jars these are moss pumpkins i couldn't remember if i showed them previously so i wanted to make sure i showed them this year or this time and they have these skulls also so as you can see there's tons of options thank you for being here thank you for watching if you enjoyed today's video be sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys